Ladies and gentlemen, His Excellency Nana Akufuado, the President of the Republic of Ghana. It is fitting that Ghana, a country that is determined to make full use of open data, should be chosen as the venue for this year's conference. We are honored by the choice and hope that all of you from across Africa and the world are enjoying the renowned hospitality of the Ghanaian people. Akwaba is our word of welcome. 2017 so far has been a year of great expectations and promise for Africa. It has been a year of dramatic changes and consolidation in the governance landscape of Africa. Today, more so than at any other period in our history, democracy and freedom are providing the appropriate political, social, and economic platform for Africa's long-awaited development. Indeed, for the first time in West Africa, all 15 member states of ECOWAS have democratically elected governments in place. This development has further boosted the confidence in some of us that democracy, freedom, progress, and prosperity are what will define Africa's 21st century. We have no excuse to deny this generation of Africans a new society of opportunities and aspirations. We have no option but to offer this generation a new kind of leadership dedicated to realizing the twin goals of guaranteeing the liberties and freedoms of the African peoples and generating prosperity on the African continent. In so doing, ladies and gentlemen, and if we are to succeed in improving the living standards of our people, a critical piece of this puzzle has to be the availability and use of information and data. The rapid evolution of the advanced and emerging market economies have been made possible largely as a result of the employment of information and data. If we in Africa are to emulate them and be an integral part of the ongoing data revolution, there is the need firstly for us to require the owners of data to make them publicly available in ways that are useful to all potential users. As the Ghana Roadmap for SDG Data Forum held in Accra in April, two months ago, the three recommendations were made to enable us in Ghana monitor the progress of attainment of the SDG goals. I'm pleased to announce that government has begun the implementation of these recommendations, which include addressing data gaps, i.e. building the administrative data system, strengthening censuses, and surveys, and pioneering the uses of new types of data. Encouraging data use, i.e. creating an interactive feedback loop between producers and users, making data more available, providing training in key areas, and demonstrating the potential of data to achieve development outcomes. And strengthening the data ecosystem, i.e. coordinating the establishment of strategic partnerships and creating a harmonized policy and enabling environment. The implementation of these recommendations is driving our open data initiative as we work also towards achieving the SDGs. 
It is the intention of government also to ensure the long overdue